Well, after I did the uh, video on this old Exidy Sorcerer 2, there was a, a comment querying about the power supply and uh, my mentioning of the voltage regulators. And uh, the commenter did have um, one point. I thought this was a 7805 and had said that it was providing the negative 5 volts. Well, I was half right. This is providing the negative 5 volts, but it is a 7905 which is actually designed for negative voltage regulation. The reason I could tell that this was doing the negative uh, 5 volts is this cutout uh, in the trace around it. See, this part of the shield that covers most of the board, this is ground. That's a real common practice on these old PC boards. Um, since ground is the most common connection in, in any electronic circuit, the uh, wherever not needed for traces, the PC board would generally just be solid metal and that's well coated solid metal and that would be the ground trace and in voltage regulators like in this 7812 here the standard pinout from left to right is in ground out so your voltage comes in your unregulated voltage you know 14 20 volts whatever the center pin goes to ground and then your regulated voltage comes out on the right pin and that center ground pin is actually electrically connected to the metal tab on the back of the regulator. Um, and they, uh, they do that because a common practice with these was to mount them to a chassis, right? And your chassis would be grounded. So you just improve your ground and then you transfer heat to, to heat sink the uh, regulator that way. This design is using the PC board as the heat sink. But on this one, you can see this cutout isolating this metal pad and the tab, therefore, from the ground and uh, that tells me that that this is you know th this has a different reference than the standard ground and in fact um, the standard ground is its input if you look at the input pin here move that capacitor a little bit you can see that it has a trace that connects it to the ground foil so the rest of the circuits ground is actually the input to this regulator and then its output runs up here to the negative 5 volt pin on the power supply so this 7905 is providing the negative 5 volts oh the same commenter had a question about the ram chips um, they are 7934s 7934 um, well wait a minute 40 that's that's the date code duh <laughs> that's the date code 34th week of 1979 the uh, number is uh, MK, wow, that's tiny, 4715, yep, uh, no, yeah, is that 4215? 4215N, 4215N-3, so they're 4215s, um, so that should answer his question. Now, the reason that I wanted to really revisit this power supply was they do something very tricky and kind of cool on the 5 volt regulator. This is a 7906, which is supposed to be a negative 6 volt regulator. But I am guarantee you, this is providing the 5 volts. And uh, an interesting thing that they do is this power resistor here. This is a 10 ohm 5 watt resistor. And it is bypassing the regulator. Let me pull up the schematic. The uh, technical manual for the Sorcerer 2 is excellent. It has full schematics for the entire computer, logic diagrams, block diagrams, theory of operation. It's like the most complete technical manual that I've seen in a while. But it does have the schematic, including the schematic for the power supply, which I'll bring up here. And you can see on this big regulator that 10 ohm 5 watt resistor is bypassing it. So why is that? What's going on? Well, this is a one amp regulator. Uh, it's, despite its size, it's rated at only one amp of current. And the five volt line going to all of the TTL logic, um, all the 7400 series logic chips in this computer, there's gonna be a lot more than one amp of current draw. Probably like 1.6, 1.7 amps, maybe even closer to two. So what that resistor does is it allows the majority of, or a large percentage of the current to flow from our source power supply. Now a resistor will, provide, will cause a voltage drop depending upon the current flowing through it. 
So if you have, say, 20 amps coming in and it's a 10 ohm resistor, you can do some math and you can figure out how much current's going to be flowing um, through that resistor. And based on the current flowing through it, you can do some more math and you can figure out how much the voltage is dropping across that resistor, right? So like, let's say we had 20 volts coming in and uh, we had uh, uh, two amps of current, right? So Ohm's law, E or voltage, is current times um, resistance. So 10 ohms times two amps is 20 volts. Uh, that would, two amps of current would drop that uh, voltage right down um, to zero. So <laughs> 10 ohms of resistance across a 20 volt supply you're going to have two amps of current flow. Um, but let's say that, uh, that uh, uh, well, let's say our circuit's drawing two amps, right? At some point, the voltage drop across this resistor is going to reach a point where the voltage on the output side of it is going to be five volts, and it's going to dip below five volts, okay? When you reach that point, the voltage regulator then takes up the slack and starts to add some voltage through to keep the output at 5 volts. So what they're doing with this resistor is they're taking some of the load off the voltage regulator. It only has to make up the difference. It's kind of brilliant actually. They've got a 1 amp voltage regulator in a circuit that's probably drawing 1.6, 1.7 amps, but this resistor is probably given the voltage regulator only about oh, 2 to 0.2 to 0.4 amps of current to deal with or, or maybe a little more because all it has to do is take up the slack. So really kind of a brilliant little thing they did with that resistor. Now this trick would only work if you have a constant load um, on your power supply. If you did not have a load on the power supply and you applied power um, with no current flowing through that resistor, you wouldn't have any voltage drop, so you'd have your full voltage at the output. So this, this would not regulate to, to, to uh, 5 volts if there was no load on it, because that resistor bypasses the regulator. But as soon as you put a load on it, and you draw that down to where that resistor's drop is, is bringing the output of its voltage down below 5 volts, then this regulator takes up the slack and brings it back to 5 volts. So kind of a Brilliant idea there. I thought we'd uh, we'd have a you know another look at that. So I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.